Amur Russian Amurzeo Avtomobili i Motori Ural Alit Joint Stock Company Ural Automobiles and Motors was a Russian company, a former manufacturer of commercial vehicles, located in Novorysk, a closed town in Sverdlovskay Oblast, Russia. Prior to 2004, Emil was called Uralsky Avtomotony Zavod, UAMS in English, Ural Automotive Plant, UAMZ. Amur declared bankruptcy and ceased operations in 2012 with all assets to be sold off. History The Ural Automotor Factory was founded in 1967 as one of the subsidiaries of Zavid Ameni Lakarchova, more commonly known as ZIL subordinated to the USSR Ministry of Automotive Industry. In 1977, the factory started their own production of vehicles, first of which was a terrain truck ZIL 157. In 1987, the factory expanded its commercial production of trucks to ZIL 130 and ZIL 131, and their common trailers. By 1992, the factory had mastered the production of special equipment vehicles based on its original trucks. In 1992, after the collapse of Soviet Union, the factory was privatized from the Ministry of Automotive Industry and reorganized into the joint stock company under the name of Ural Automotor Plants RU, UAMZ. The management did not survive separation from the central economics of former Soviet Union, and in 2002, the factory declared bankruptcy. In 2003, the Bank of Northern Treasury holding North Prom Cohen bought the remaining assets from the bankruptcy, and, in 2004, pursued reorganization into CJSC Ural Automobiles and Motors, abbreviated as Amur. In May 2004, Amur and India's Tata Motors entered into a contract to build Tata trucks at the factory. Together, they co-produced two models of Tata 407 and Tata 613 branded as Amur 4346. The partners planned on signing a three-year contract, with the release of up to 5,000 trucks per year. But the project was never realized. In 2007, Amur planned on establishing a joint production with China's Geely Automobile, to produce models of Geely CK and the Chinese company Great Wall Motors for the production of SUVs ZX Auto Landmark. Production trials began in May 2007. In early 2008, production of passenger cars was suspended, with plans on resuming production in August 2008. Amur planned to release 3,500 SUV models per year, but the project was discontinued. On July 16, 2010, Amur and French manufacturer Renault Trucks entered into a joint venture for the production of light-duty trucks Midlam, under which the production would be placed at Amur facilities. In the joint venture, Amur was investing facilities and operating capital, and Renault Trucks was investing its manufacturing know how and technology. In July 2011, the joint venture was suspended due to AMUR's financial distress and bankruptcy. Commencing from 2012, AMUR's management is looking for new investors to recover the company. Topic: New developments. The six at the exhibition: Industrial Design Defense Products, Expressive Severity and Reliable Functionality. The company Intral Ru Colin presented the prototype armored vehicles Colin Cleaver and Tauros. Tauros to be manufactured in the UAMZ facility. Topic <laughs> Production. One nine seven seven one nine nine four Zil one five seven. 
1987 to 2012 ZIL 130 from 2002 known as the Amur 531350 Amur's 531350 utilizes the cab of the 531340 1987 to 2012 ZIL 131 from 2002 known as the Amur 531340 2004-2008 Amur 4346 2007-2008 Amur 531210 2007-2008 Geely Otucker 2006 to 2008 Zedex Auto Landmark